Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We are doing introduction to financial risk management and the module we are doing is measure of returns and risk. In last lecture, we discussed how returns are being calculated and we learned that there are many ways in which returns are being calculated and looked at. Now we'll move to another main category that is how risks are being calculated. So risk can be calculated again in a many, many multiple ways and many ways of directing and looking into this spectrum. Like there is a viewpoint in which how it is being taken care. So we have variance that leads us to calculation of the standard deviation. Then we need to learn about covariances, correlation and that for then portfolio risk. As I've told you, you might have seen standard deviation, correlation in your statistical knowledge, but here we are applying them in the context of pure finance and portfolio management. Variance and standard deviation of single asset. First we'll discuss about single asset and then we'll move to portfolio of two and more assets. So if we have a population of which we are calculating that is the whole data is available, then the formula is sum of the deviation my into square divided by the number to which it relate. But if we have and when we have to calculate its standard deviation, we take a square root of that. When we have a sample data, that means the whole population cannot be calculated. You have thousands or hundreds of entry and take a sample out of it. The formula remains a bit similar with the only difference that in denominator we deduct it with one. Jahan pe bhi sample ki baat aati hai, normally wahan pe eh, sam, wo, numbers mein se one minus kar liya jata hai to take care of the sample factor or population puri se usko relate karne ke liye. And then for same way we take, we get the variance, hum uski wo, lenge, so we'll take the uh, standard root, square root and then we get the value. Iski kuch important assumption hai. When we take the standard deviation, we have few important assumptions which we need to specifically know. A, that returns are normally distributed. Yani usme koi skewness, koi specific jo hai, noise nahi hai. And another important assumption is markets are informationally and operationally efficient. When we say informationally and operationally efficient, that means the information related to the stock or the bond is reflected in its price. Variance of portfolio of assets. When you have more than one asset in our portfolio, then how it is being calculated? There triggers in a new element that is covariance. Covariance is actually the relationship between the two assets with each other. So we are going to learn about this as you can remember we have once talked about diversification. Diversification was the point that when you want to add assets your returns will be on an average size whereas risk can fall down. If you can recall we already spread out investment so that risk fall down. So here we see how that mechanism actually works. When we combine one with the asset ko combine karenge, so returns to unke hume average mil jayenge lekin risk ke level average ki bajaye kuch kam ho jayenge usme the covariance and the correlation will play a role to bring down our risk so here we see can see the variance of a portfolio is we take the weights and the covariance this way and we take some of that that will capture the risks of the whole portfolio we'll do that with Figures, we do that in examples. Yeh hamara achche, hum kuke important point hai. We'll be spending a little more time on it. For example, assume that investor, you decide to invest some money in an index because index is a wide area and you are spreading your investment to. So now you decided ki 80% mein index mein invest karunga, that is S&P 500 US. Yahan pe jaise KSC 100 index hai, isi tarah S&P 500 and remaining 20% in MSCI Emerging Market Index. Emerging markets are developing markets where return potential is high hota hai, at the same time risk level is a high. Hota hai. Expected return is 9.93 for S&P 500 and 18.2% for Emerging Market. Here you can see the huge difference ke expected return dono mein kitna gap hai kyunki emerging markets ka risk zyada hai isliye unke return ab dekhte hain risk kahan pe hai the risk is 16.21 for s&p 500 and 33.11% for emerging market 
तो इमर्जिंग मार्केट का रिटर्न तो ज्यादा था लेकिन उसका रिस्क लेवल बहुत हाई था अगर मैं सारे पैसे इमर्जिंग मार्केट में इन्वेस्ट कर लूंगा तो दैट विल मीन आई एम टेकिंग अ लॉट ऑफ रिस्क What will be the portfolio expected return given that covariance between the S and P and emerging is 0.005? अब ये covariance determine करेगा कि हमें कितना diversification का benefit आता है। Hope ये question हमें समझ आ गया है। Then we'll move to the discussion of its solution. Here, what we have? Point A refers to 80% invested. Into the return of the S and P, that is 0.9, 9.993. We will take it as 0.093 because we are applying the factor. Then we have 20% investing in emerging market, so 0.2 multiplied by 0.1820. This gives us return of 11.58. You can just see it's just average. 80% was invested, kiya udhar se jitna return aa gaya. 20% was se kiya jitna return aa gaya. Dono ko sum kar liya, which is नॉर्मल अंडरस्टैंडिंग के हमारे हमने ये एड ऑन कर लिया लेकिन रिस्क के मैटर में ऐसा नहीं होगा हम ये नहीं करेंगे कि वेट मल्टीप्लाई बाय रिस्क वेट ऑफ वन देन वेट मल्टीप्लाई बाय रिस्क ऑफ टू एंड ऐड दैट नो फिर तो रिस्क फैक्टर में कोई डाइवर्सिफिकेशन बेनिफिट आया ही ना इसके लिए हमारे पास एज वी हैव सीन वी टेक वेट ऑफ वन वे देन टू स्क्वेयर ऑफ दीज एंड देन टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय वेट ऑफ वन इन वेट ऑफ टू एंड को अगर आप कुछ मैथ का फॉर्मूला कुछ याद हो तो वो ए स्क्वेयर प्लस बी स्क्वेयर प्लस टू ए बी इट इज ऑन द सिमिलर पैटर्न तो वी हैव पॉइंट एट स्क्वेयर इन टू सिक्सटीन पॉइंट टू वन द रिस्क ऑफ दैट देन ट्वेंटी परसेंट स्क्वेयर विद मल्टीप्लाई बाय रिस्क ऑफ दैट एंड टू इन टू वेट ऑफ द फैक्टर तो एंड रिजल्ट इज द वेरियंस ऑफ पॉइंट टू टू वन जब हम इसकी स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन ले लेते हैं तो स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन comes out to be 15.1. तो अगर हम इनकी सिंपल एवरेज लेते तो यू कैन सी के खाली इमर्जिंग मार्केट की 33 थी और जो एस एंड पी थी उसकी 16 थी लेकिन हमारे पोर्टफोलियो का रिटर्न जो है वो रिस्क जो है वो 15 आया विच इज अ वेरी लोअर नंबर दिस इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ द डाइवर्सिफिकेशन ये उसका मेन पर्टिकुलर बेनिफिट है अब हम इसको ग्राफिकली देखते हैं इसमें रिटर्न और रिस्क को हमने प्लॉट किया हुआ एक्सिस पे यू कैन सी टू पॉइंट एस एन पी फाइव हंड्रेड एंड इमर्जिंग मार्केट यू कैन सी एस एन पी फाइव हंड्रेड का रिटर्न भी कम है और उसका रिस्क भी कम है इमर्जिंग मार्केट का रिटर्न इज ऑन हायर साइड एज वेल एज इट्स रिस्क बट दे इज अनदर थर्ड डॉट विच इज अ पोर्टफोलियो दैट इज इवन बिफोर एस एन पी और ये एक बल्ज सी बन गई है ये बल्ज हमें बेसिकली अचीवमेंट है ऑफ The diversification. That's the beauty of the diversification. के वो हमारे risk level को काम कर लेती है हमने जब इसको portfolio बनाया क्योंकि इनकी आपस में correlation कम थी इनकी को वेरियंस कम था तो हमारा पोर्टफोलियो का रिटर्न इज हायर देन एस एंड पी फाइव हंड्रेड वेयर एज रिस्क इज लोअर देन द एस एंड पी फाइव सो दिस इज द मेन डाइवर्सिफिकेशन बेनिफिट वील बी स्टार्टिंग मोर ऑफ इट विल डू मोर प्रैक्टिस ऑफ इट इन नेक्स्ट मॉड्यूल्स so hope you will understand about this thing thank you for the day